In 1972, Oldsmobile celebrated its 75th birthday by offering a special edition of its luxury flagship, the 98. The end result was this 1972-98 Regency. It was a car so high on the luxury scale, it even rivaled the best Cadillac had to offer at the time. To produce this car, Oldsmobile partnered with Tiffany and Company. This is why all 1972-98 Regencies had a Tiffany Gold exterior paint job, an electronic Tiffany interior clock, and a unique Regency ignition key, which was on a Tiffany Sterling Silver key ring. Upon purchase, each 1972 Regency was entered into Tiffany's special registry. The registry wasn't just for prestige. It offered an invaluable service to Regency buyers. If lost, a set of Regency keys could be dropped in any U.S. mailbox where they would be sent to Tiffany's. Tiffany's would identify the owner using its registry and then send the keys back to the owner. The Regency's interior was more regal and luxurious than most luxury cars of its day. With its ultra-soft limousine quality, Vleur cloth seating surfaces, all occupants rode in pampered comfort. The Regency's interior cabin was designed by GM's premier interior designer, Blaine Jenkins. The Regency came standard with many power and convenience options. The Regency was powered by Oldsmobile's Rocket 455 cubic inch V8, which produced 250 net horsepower and 370 pound-feet of net torque. This was enough power to move the 4,698-pound Regency with ease. A total of 2,650 75th Anniversary Edition 1972-98 Regencies were produced. The Regency trim package was such a success that it returned for 1973 and continued for another two decades. The 1972-98 Regency was Oldsmobile at its finest. It was cars like the Regency that created Oldsmobile's legendary status.